Hi guys, Fez UFO here again. Just picked up a nice piece of uh, equipment from uh, China. Uh, it take, took about a month to arrive, but uh, it finally came through the post today. So, until I'll show you what it is, it's a 10 in 1 survival tool. Looking at it, looks a bit like a little radio, but it's, uh, it's not as far from it. So just having a basic quick look at it on the outside. It's made of hard hard plastic, uh, green coloured, uh, little lanyard on the top there. And there's a little tool in the top also here as well. So I'll show you what it does. The first dial at the top here is uh, a hydrometer which measures the amount of um, moisture that's in the air. As you can see it's about 56% moisture in here and then underneath it says on there thermo thermometer uh, it's about 22 it's about right 22 23 something like that uh, it's in degrees celsius which says on there so we'll have a look at it there's a little pin at the top here which I'll remove oh first of all before I do little pinhole there and it has a tiny little switch on the side here and it's for, you guessed it a flashlight <laughs> uh, it's pretty right, it's ok uh, it's not bad at all to be honest so we'll turn that off pull the pin out this is your pin for doing other other tasks which I'll show you in a bit we'll place that down there out the way for the moment. We'll open it up. It opens up at the bottom. As you can see on the bottom it has a compass. You can read from if you're pointing it straight ahead without opening it up. But we'll open it up and have a look inside. There we go. First things first. Compass pretty easy to read uh, don't know if you'd be able to read it in the dark although when you turn the light on here it actually illuminates the whole thing as well as putting the light out at the top as you can see so that's a, a pretty nifty cool idea ok so we'll go through it with you so we have our compass there, we have the side reading which you could take there uh, it's easy enough to read in the daylight maybe so first of all we slide this out put that to one side for the moment as you can see it's got a little bubble spirit level there which you'd have to centre to get the compass to read right uh, it is actually pretty accurate the compass so that's, that's quite a good thing at the top here we have a, uh, a signalling mirror I'm uh, not quite sure what the uh, slide the hole is in the middle there or the dots around the bottom yet uh, although it might present itself to us but anyway it's a good signalling mirror it's nice and bright and as you can see it's a pretty good reflector so you could actually see yourself in it so that's uh, the basic kit this is a little magnifying glass I'll turn it around for you to have a look properly at the top there's centimetres and at the bottom I guess that's inches I uh, don't know really what, what it's like to pick up but how, uh, how well the magnifier will work in the sun well I guess if you're looking at compass you could actually see it a little better so anyway that's that and that just slides neatly back in there keeps it quite in place so we'll close this up again you remember the little tool that we had if you see on the side of here 
There's three little holes and this tool oops this tool fits in to each of the holes here here and here have a look on the underside there's some hidden compartments one there one there and one there that's actually for the battery I think now you can take the battery out ah. for the lamp a little button cell I think uh, you've got to undo the screws and the uh, and the bubble down anyway we'll uh, we'll pop these out for you to have a quick look at so you just insert the tool into the side here like so and just push as you can see that pops out there the first thing we've got is the whistle little emergency whistle there it's not the best in the world but it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah, it is actually quite loud that. So we'll pop that there. Oops, sorry. Moving it all over the place. Second wall we'll push out is. I think I'll push this in quite a bit too hard. There we go. Is a little fire steel. Uh, it does work, oh, as you can see I've scraped the uh, paint off there so I'll give that a demonstration so what do you need to light a fire steel you may ask well we'll pop the last one out and it is fire steel striker which I guess you could also use as a flathead screwdriver So. It has a, a rough end and a smooth end on the sides here. So I guess you could scrape the, the paint off, but Let's see, I don't know if I've got the right way. Not the best in the world, but certainly not the worst. So those are your little survival gear, bits of gear. And they just fit nightly back in there. Let's put the whistle back in first. Just around this way. Just slot straight back into there. Press it down quite easily. The fire steel there, so the striker back in. This one, they'll fit nicely in, it's quite flush uh, at the side there. And the fire steel just pops back in there. And your pin, actually, I think I put that in the wrong way, Let's just pop that out again. It should actually go in a bit stiffer than that to hold it in place. That's it, you can feel it. So, there's all the bits back. Put your pin back in there, turn it, box it into place. There you go, 10 in 1 survival tool. Pretty nifty, really light, lightweight, but it's robust. Uh, good light on it. Uh, fire steel, compass, um, signalling mirror. Whistle, temperature gauge, hydrometer, and a bit of a screwdriver. And did I mention the lamp? Yeah. So there you go. Uh, 